coming in for a pretty close landing. Feeling good about that. Hello, welcome back to Kerbal Space Program Hardcore with Tavernus Interplanetary. It's episode 25, and we're going to the moon. Now that we've proven we can get a Kerbal to orbit and back, we need to continue to break new barriers. We choose to go to the moon, not because it's easy, but because it's hard. Fair enough. Plant a flag on the moon. That's it. Plant a flag on the moon. Okay. In order to do that, we are going to need to upgrade the astronaut building, the astronaut complex, because we can't EVA on the moon until we do. Now let's see if there's another contract we can take while we're on the way. Oh, do we want to try and... Let's do our first moon landing at the monument. That'll be good. And we've got an extremely lucrative mission here from the World First Organization that'll net us 300, 400,000 kerbucks, almost. Go to the moon, land on the moon, we're already doing that. Return. We'll take it. This is a two-way mission. Now let's go to research and development. We have 143 science to spend. I think we're going to want to spend it on space exploration, right? No. Let's take the RCS, although we may not use them. Let's build a ship. Okay. For a pod, Mark 1 command pod we've used before, we're actually going to use, I think, the onion reentry module which is from the Making History expansion. It's uh, based on Soviet, Soviet capsules. And the reason I want to use it is because it has a built-in separator, which will uh, save us one part during construction. And we might need that part. Now, we've said we're going to return. We're bringing Jeb back. So we need a parachute. We've got separator. We've already got some ablator built into this pod so it should be able to return with just itself and the parachute although we're also going to throw our ever-present flight computer right onto the top module here where is the hatch i want to make sure i don't block the exit pretty sure this is the hatch here Now, to return from the moon, we're going to need at least 6,000 Delta V. Let's start with our ascent and return stage, which needs to be about 1,000. Oscar fuel tanks, maybe, will be enough. We're about to find out. 1,000. If you put on landing legs, that won't be enough. Larger fuel tanks it is. We really don't want too big of a lander. Let's see, this one has 45 fuel in it. I kind of like this because it's going to give us a wider base. There we go, okay. Now we put our landing legs on there. Yes, good, good, good. Nice wide landing stance. It might actually be too wide. That's better. Let's put on Mr. Mystery. Just one. 1500. Landing, ascent, return, all in one package. Separator. Before we start building the rest of our rocket, we should think about the other things we are going to add on to here, because there is at least there are at least two more things we're going to need. There's electric charge in here, 50. We're going to need some way to refill that, and I'm going to go with a fuel cell. Even though they're heavy, we don't want to be dependent on the sun. And then we're not going to we're actually intentionally not going to turn that on right now. We're going to wait till we need it. Um, because we've got a Kerbal in the pod, so we'll have the ability to turn it on if we run out of power later. And we don't want to run out of fuel. And the other thing that we're going to want is some sort of stabilization. We just bought the RCS, but I'm still going to go with the stabilizer. Now let's build a transfer stage. Okay, and then an ascent stage.
All right. Reese. Jeb's already in the seat. What do you bring? Okay. We want to make sure that we bring with us an EVA experiment kit. And that's it. We're not going to worry about trying to start this uh, deployed science yet. It's too much for us. And we want to keep the jetpack. We want to keep the parachute. It's going to be a slow takeoff, but we should get there. Okay, having Jeb inside that fairing and a completely untested vessel is making me feel a little bit nervous. We would be irresponsible not to just do a quick test and make sure that the, that the uh, pod itself, the lander, is sound. Okay, it's stable. Does it explode when we start the engine? Nope doesn't have enough thrust to quite lift off. So let's stop burning the fuel. Okay, do we have any launch pad science to do? No, but we will if we jeb EVA Jeb. Now this is an important test to make sure that he actually can exit. Good, the hatch works. Okay, and then from here... What we're going to do is we're going to take off his parachute and grab the EVA experiments kit. And we're going to perform some EVA science. Alright, he can't do it because he's holding on. Alright. <laughs> this is a good reminder. Jeb, put on your helmet. Test our flag planting skills. Flag is functional. Now we're going to remove that because it's a friggin' hazard. And perform EVA science. Nice shot, Jeb. That's 12 science from the launch pad. We'll take that. Keep experiment. Now we're not going to be able to reboard the ship here. Oh wait, maybe we will. Before we hurt somebody, before Jab experiences a Valentina-like incident, we're going to recover our lander and reattach it. Increase one. Staging still looks good. Goes back in the pilot seat. Got a fresh. Oh rid of that. Give Jeb back his parachute. In case of the worst. I don't know why I'm bringing extra for those. All it's doing is increasing our mass. We've got some fuel to spare. Good to have backups. Now, let's go to the moon. science. Okay. No, it would be a PR nightmare. Can't believe I almost clicked that button. Even inside a fairing. We're not, we're not setting Jeb outside the uh, ship at 1,000 meters per second. I'm 
Okay, we've got our apoapsis in space. That's good, that's all we really needed from our first stage. And separate and start our burn. moon's directly above us, so we're going to have to do most of an orbit before we're ready to start our transfer burn, which means we do need to pretty much circularize. We can burn slightly radial in and get a complete orbit outside the atmosphere a little bit faster that way. Okay, we'll do the rest of the uh, burn at apoapsis. Save some fuel. Oh, and while we're up here, we can do an EVA report in space high. Above 70, that's all we need. Let's take a look around. Do you have your uh, experiment, Deb? Uh oh. I'm not quite sure what's going on here with the extra two EVAs that we EVA kits that we don't have anywhere to put. Not sure if that's going to be a problem for us. Or just a weird UI bug. I feel like they're floating in space right now. Oh, I forgot to collect the EVA report while we were out there. Uh -huh. well, let's put these back. Okay, well, fighting with that EVA with that EVA experiment kit is going to be a uh, little bit of a challenge on the moon as well, but we can handle it. We're leaving a wing nut floating in space. Tiniest, world's tiniest space junk. Now we just got to wait for the moon to come back around. Desert. So that was the, maybe the only biome that we didn't get on our previous uh, on our tourism pass when we were collecting all that science with Tito. But yeah, this isn't really any different than the flight plan for all of the probes we've been sent to the moon before. It's not until we actually get there and we're landing a much heavier lander than we previously have and trying to land on a specific spot as we seek to complete our moon anomaly mission. Oh, and crew capacity at least two. Okay. We're going to plant a flag on the moon, we're going to find the moon anomaly, and we're going to have to buy a bigger command pod before we can complete this other mission we took on, so we did not read the fine print. circularization burn. Okay, now we're going to freely orbit until our landing site is on the day side. There we are. Let's plan our landing. So we've brought our orbit in down to have a surface intercept by burning retrograde. Always makes your orbit smaller. Now we want to change the direction of travel, which means usually burning normal or anti-normal is going to be the most efficient, and it will swing your current orbit either up or down. Oh, shit. <laughs> and make sure you do the right one if you want to save your fuel. 
There we go. And now we're passing right over our site. Now our suicide burn delta V is 602. Our transfer stage has 528 meters per second left in it. So we're gonna have to use the landing stage just for the last bit of the landing, which is perfect because we want to keep most of that fuel for the trip home anyways. Do our corrections, our final approach corrections in the map view. Oh, it's the wrong direction again. This is not a masterclass in how to properly adjust your landing orbit. But it'll do. We're mostly burning retrograde, and I'm tilting us back towards anti-normal to get our approach lined up just right. Okay, that's an approach. The rest of what we do from this view. So we're going to point ourselves retrograde. We're going to put down our landing gear. I oh, know we're going to wait till we release our transfer stage before we do that. And we're going to go to our uh, pretty much our suicide burn point now. This is it. We're not doing an EVA report right now. Thank you, Science Alert. Coming in for a pretty close landing. Feeling good about that. I'm not feeling good about how much of our uh, lander's fuel we're going to need to use, though. All right. Separate. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, no. We didn't account for the fact that we had less thrust on the lander. We're going to hit the ground hard. Sorry, Jeb. wasn't perfect. 